Hey, adventurers! Welcome to another episode of Fun Animals for Kids, the YouTube Kids channel where we explore the coolest creatures, visit amazing habitats, and learn incredible animal facts together. Today, we're diving into the fascinating world of one of nature's most unique animals. Imagine an animal with spines like a porcupine, a snout like an anteater, and the rare ability to lay eggs even though it's a mammal. Sounds like something out of a storybook, right? Well, it's real and it's called the echidna. Get ready for a wild adventure where we'll explore incredible habitats, learn surprising facts, and even meet a very special echidna friend. Echidnas are amazing little animals found in some of the most beautiful places on Earth. From the golden plains of Australia to the misty rainforests of Papua New Guinea, echidnas call a variety of habitats home. Imagine strolling through a dense forest alive with the sounds of birds and insects, or climbing rocky hills under a bright blue sky. These places aren't just breathtaking, they're the perfect playground for echidnas. But wait, what exactly makes echidnas so special? To find out, we've got a very spiky guest joining us today. Everyone, meet Eddie the echidna. Good day, mates. Thanks for having me. I've been told there's a bunch of curious kids out there who want to learn about echidnas. Well, you've come to the right spiky guy. That's right, Eddie. Let's start with something simple. What exactly is an echidna? Great question. Echidnas are unique mammals called monotremes, which means we lay eggs instead of giving birth to live young. Yep, you heard me right. Us echidnas and our cousins, the platypus, are the only mammals in the world who do that. Pretty wild, huh? Our ancestors have been around for millions of years, surviving through massive changes in climate and ecosystems. We're like living fossils carrying ancient history wherever we go. That's amazing, Eddie. So where can kids find echidnas in the wild? Echidnas can be found all over Australia, from deserts to forests to snowy mountains. We're even in Tasmania, where the air is fresh and the grass is green. Oh, and let's not forget Papua New Guinea, where the rainforests are lush and the rivers are crystal clear. No matter where we live, we always find places with plenty of bugs to eat and cozy spots to dig. The best part is that each habitat offers something unique like wildflowers in the outback or cool streams in the forests. Speaking of digging, why are echidnas such good diggers? It's all in the claws, mate. Our front claws are long and strong, perfect for breaking through soil and uncovering tasty termites and ants. And here's a fun fact. Our back claws point backward, which helps us clear away dirt as we dig. We're basically nature's construction workers, Plus, digging helps us stay cool when it's hot outside. We can create little burrows to rest in during the heat of the day. Eddie, what's the deal with your snout? Oh, this snout is one of my best features. It's super sensitive and helps me sniff out insects hiding underground. And get this, I don't have teeth. Instead, I use my sticky tongue to slurp up ants and termites. It's like a built-in bug catching machine. My snout also has special sensors that help me detect tiny movements in the soil, so I can find food even in tricky places. Okay, that's officially the coolest tongue I've ever seen. Eddie, do you have any unusual talents? Unusual talents? You bet. We echidnas are champion hiders. When we feel threatened, we dig straight down into the ground or curl up into a ball, showing off our spines to scare off predators. And speaking of spines, did you know they're actually modified hairs? They're tough and sharp, giving us great protection. Sometimes we even wiggle our spines to make a rustling noise that can confuse predators. Eddie, can you share three fun facts about echidnas that most kids might not know? All right, here we go. First, echidnas have a super low body temperature compared to other mammals, which helps us stay cool in hot climates. Second, we're amazing swimmers and love to paddle around in rivers and creeks. Third, we can live up to 50 years in the wild if we're lucky. That's a lot of time to explore and snack on bugs. And here's a bonus fact. Our puggles are one of the cutest babies you'll ever see, even if we're a bit biased. Those are some incredible facts, Eddie. Let's keep the fun going. What's your favorite food and how do you find it? That's an easy one. Ants and termites are my favorite snacks. I use my super sensitive snout to sniff them out, then dig into their mounds with my claws. My sticky tongue does the rest. It's like nature's perfect buffet. 
But finding food isn't just about eating, it's also about helping the environment. When we dig, we help aerate the soil, which makes it healthier for plants. So we're feeding ourselves and helping nature thrive. Do echidnas have any predators? We sure do. Dingoes, foxes, and large birds of prey are the main ones. But our spines are a great defense. Most predators think twice before messing with us. Sometimes if we're near water, we'll even take a quick dive to escape. Being able to hide and swim gives us plenty of ways to stay safe. Eddie, how do echidnas stay safe in bad weather? We're experts at finding shelter. We dig burrows or hide under rocks and logs to stay dry and safe during storms. Our thick spines and fur also help keep us warm. If it gets really cold, we can even slow down our bodies to save energy. It's like taking a cozy nap until the weather gets better. Can echidnas climb? We sure can. We're pretty good at climbing over rocks and logs. Our strong claws give us great grip, so we can even scramble up small trees if we need to. It's not something we do all the time, but when we need to explore or find food, our climbing skills come in handy. How do echidnas communicate with each other? We're pretty quiet most of the time, but we do make snuffling and grunting sounds to say hello or warn others of danger. Our sense of smell is our main way of staying in touch. We leave scent marks to let other echidnas know we've been around. It's like leaving little notes for each other. What's the best time of day to see echidnas? We're most active in the early morning and late afternoon, especially when it's cooler. That's when we like to forage for food and explore. During the hottest parts of the day, we usually rest in our burrows or under shady spots to stay cool. Do echidnas sleep a lot? Oh, we love our naps. We can sleep for up to 12 hours a day, especially in cooler weather. Digging and foraging take a lot of energy, so we need plenty of rest. Sometimes we even snooze in a cozy burrow, hidden away from predators and bad weather. What makes echidnas so important to their ecosystems? We're great for the environment. By digging for food, we help aerate the soil, which makes it healthier for plants. We're like tiny gardeners for the wild. Our digging also helps mix nutrients in the soil, creating better conditions for new plants to grow. It's amazing how one small animal can make such a big difference. How do baby echidnas or puggles grow up? Puggles hatch from eggs and stay in their mom's pouch for a few weeks. Once they grow spines, they move into a burrow where mom takes care of them until they're ready to explore on their own. Watching a puggle grow is an incredible process. They start out so tiny and helpless, but they quickly become independent little adventurers. Eddie, can echidnas see well? Our eyesight isn't the best, but our sense of smell and hearing are super sharp. We don't need great vision when we can sniff out everything we need. Our strong senses make us excellent at navigating our environment, even when it's dark or tricky. Do echidnas have any seasonal habits? In colder months, we slow down a bit and conserve energy. Some of us even go into a light hibernation called torpor. It helps us survive when food is harder to find. When spring arrives, we become more active, exploring and searching for fresh meals. What's the coolest thing about being an echidna? Everything, from our spines to our digging skills, we're one-of-a-kind animals. But if I had to pick, it's laying eggs while being a mammal. That's pretty hard to beat. We're a perfect mix of ancient traits and modern survival skills, making us truly unique. Eddie, do you have any more fun facts to share before we wrap up? Sure. Did you know echidnas can sense electrical signals from insects? It's called electroreception, and it helps us find food even when it's hidden underground. How cool is that? Also, we're great swimmers and can hold our breath underwater for several minutes. There's always something surprising about us echidnas. Adventurers, what an incredible journey we've had today. From digging through the red soil to swimming in cool streams, we've discovered so much about echidnas and their amazing world. But before we go, let's take a moment to reflect on why learning about animals for kids is so special. Echidnas show us just how extraordinary nature can be. From their spines to their sticky tongues, they are full of surprises. Exploring their habitats from the vibrant grasslands of Tasmania to the misty rainforests of Papua New Guinea reminds us how diverse and beautiful our planet is. And it is so cool for kids to see and learn about real animals from around the world right here on this channel. But it's not just about echidnas. Every time we learn about animals, we understand more about how connected we are to the wildlife that shares our planet. And you, adventurers, 
are the future guardians of these incredible creatures. That's right, mates. Every little action you take, whether it's learning, exploring, or protecting nature, makes a big difference. We may be small, but together we can do big things for the wild world. Thank you, Eddie, for being such an incredible guide today. And thank you, adventurers, for joining us on this unforgettable journey. Remember, the world is filled with amazing animals, just waiting for you to discover their stories. Until next time, keep exploring, keep learning, and keep caring for the incredible wildlife around us. This is Fun Animals for Kids, where every adventure brings us closer to nature. See you soon.